Hello, I'm back and you are too. So here we go for uh, Folk Finger Style Part 2. Um, if you haven't already done so, you should definitely check out Folk Finger Style Part 1 before you look at this. And you should have downloaded the PDF file from uh, www.justinguitar.com. So it makes it an awful lot easier if you've got the sheet music in front of you. So head to the website, download the sheet music, print it out, or look at it on your computer screen, um, and then we'll get stuck into doing this lesson. So um, we're going to jump now to the right hand, close up. The thing that we're going to do slightly differently that we didn't do in part one is we're going to be using our third finger on this hand, your ring finger, uh, to pluck the top E string. So um, Jedi, please uh, let's cut to the right hand. Okay, so we're starting off here now with example five on the sheet, uh, which is again using a C chord. Now, if we trace your minds back for a second to example one, example one looked like this. Together, thumb one, thumb two, thumb. So in order to get used to using our third finger now, our ring finger, we're now gonna replace that kind of last finger pluck with that third finger. So we'd end up having the two fingers together, thumb and second finger. Thumb, one, thumb, third finger, thumb. So you end up with this. Again, make sure you practice it really slowly first. Get it right. Then once you've got it right, you can start to speed it up gradually. So that's example five. Example six, again, almost the same as example two was, although we're changing the second note for a thinnest string again, the, the top string with the third finger. So example six is this. probably want to then join example 5 and example 6 together. So we'd have this. Okay, that's the two new ones that we're doing that cover the C chord. Now we're moving to a G chord with the left hand. Exactly the same patterns again as what we've just done in examples 5 and 6 but the thumbs moving over to the 6th string root and then jumping over to the 4th string. So I'll be making that same jumping movement that we had before. So example 7 is this. Together, thumb 1, thumb, 3rd finger, thumb. Example 8, again, same as pattern 6, but with the thumb moving over the 6th string again. So that one is this. And again, combining now, example 7 and example 8. About the consistency of the thumb. Now I'm just going to play just a little bit now mixing up some of the different examples that we've just done so you can see that there's really an infinite number of possibilities so long as you keep that thumb moving consistently either going fifth string, fourth string, fifth string, fourth string or for a sixth string root chord it's going to go sixth string, fourth string, six, four. You can really do all sorts of little melodies if I... quite straightforward the movement is that the top three fingers are glued on those strings and thumb moves around and covers those bass strings. 
Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, little bit of folk finger style that we've just covered over these two lessons. Um, you'll notice at the bottom of the page that you've hopefully downloaded from the website um, that there's space at the bottom for you to make up your own progressions, your own finger style patterns. It's really important that you get used to doing that and the, the one thing that needs to remain consistent is the thumb. The alternating strings for the thumb is the, the key to making it sound cool. Once you've got that right then you can really just add in the fingers plucking, the, the fingers one, two and three, wherever you feel like it and as long as the bass is consistent it will sound cool. So I strongly urge you to try making up your own different patterns as much as you can because that's where you'll really kind of get into it and you'll start making up your own things, maybe making your own tunes and it really works good. So um, have fun with that and uh, don't forget to get the lesson from the website www.justinguitar.com Take care, see you soon, bye.